Hello family. I just thought I'd show you this. It looks like you might be thinking, oh, it's snow or it's ice, but it isn't. It's all from this stuff that they're dumping in the atmosphere. All this white, as you see over there, all the lines. It's chemtrails, no straight lines in God's sky. And then you've got all this white stuff on the on the floor and you think well maybe it's from builders but it's the whole street so it's obviously not builders this will be the the metals which is in all of this um, aluminium strontium barium titanium and lithium and this is crazy and it snowed it snowed this stuff down on us full of aluminium and there's metals that I mentioned and it's left it's left the uh, the street completely white sorry for the wind I'm just making this a quick video because I'm not going to be able to do it because of because of the wind so isn't it just crazy and nobody nobody questions this at all maybe some people are questioning it but what it is is it's frozen metals that's what it is. It's not frost. It's it's uh, it's not slippy. It's uh, like I say, frozen metals. So, dear family, and whosoever watching, if you have not accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, do it. Do it quick, because the tribulation is about to start. I don't like having the camera on me, because people think I'm some guy so I'm taking off me. sorry for the wind like I say but I can't help that just look at it the whole the whole streets everywhere it's coated in this white substance which is from the chemtrails which you can see in the air very clearly I'm not actually I didn't particularly feel led by spirit the Holy Spirit to do this but um, I just did it off my own back. I just thought, you need to see this. This is crazy. Like I say, it's not slippy at all. It, it looks like it looks like snow, but obviously it isn't. So there you go. If you haven't accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, please don't hesitate any longer because he is the way, he is the truth, and he is the life. And he said, Jesus Christ said, I am the door by me, by me. If any man shall enter in, he shall be saved. So go to Jesus Christ. He was crucified on the cross for all our sins, past, present and future. He was buried and God raised him from the dead on the third day. When you believe that in your heart, and you call upon him, you will be saved. When you believe it truly, that if thou shalt confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus Christ and shalt believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead you will be saved for with the heart man believes unto righteousness unto justification and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation so what crazy times are we living in guys absolutely crazy if I just step in this doorway it won't be as windy so um, I just pray if you haven't laid hold of salvation and you're watching this, then uh, I pray in the name of Jesus that you will go to him now before it's too late and you find yourself witnessing a great vanishing of many people <clears throat> and you having to face the Antichrist beast system, new world order, which you don't want to be here for. I promise you it's going to be horrendous. So saying that, lay hold of your salvation by believing on Jesus death burial and resurrection for all our sins on that cross and call upon him and just because he uh, he does blot out all your sin past present and future that doesn't give us a license to sin in fact the more close you get to God the the, the 
the more likely you are, he's going to point out the sin in your life and he's going to want you to do something about it. Um, we can't just, we can't just um, get saved, receive Holy Spirit and then just go living um, as the world. The Bible says, do not be conformed unto this world. So uh, you can't, you can't just carry on um, doing as you please. The Lord wants you to touch no unclean thing, um, and He will accept you. That's what the Word says. So it's like me. I, I, I confess to you that I'm, I'm on medication, which the Lord has convicted me. He wants me to do something about it. Um, so I'm gonna. That's what I'm doing. I'm fasting and praying and asking the Lord to uh, deliver me from uh, addiction to uh, uh, prescription medications because they're, they're not doing me any good. I'm, I'm taking antidepressants, but it's not. It's not helping. It's not helping my depression. I, th I, th I think only. Uh, only the Lord can deal with that. Anyway, God bless you all. I'm going to get off, but just look at the sky. Just look at it. I'm sorry for the wind. It's just, but just look at it. Gas. And that's exactly what is on the floor. It's dropped down onto us and it's created all this white in, in the street. It's just incredible that people don't see this. Nobody questions it. I mean, just look at it, it looks like snow, and it's not. Frozen aluminium, strontium, barium, titanium, lithium, and pff, God only knows what else. Anyway, I love you all. God bless you. Be of good cheer, wait on the Lord. Uh, be of good courage, and he will strengthen your heart. And just remember, every time you pray, that God is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think all that we ask all that we pray for he's able to do even more abundantly above what we ask for so keep that in mind always when you pray and remember that the lord uh, with with men uh, things are impossible with what 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 things are impossible with men are possible with god so keep that in mind every time you pray God bless you all. I love you all. Thank you for your prayers. If you do pray for me, I would uh, really appreciate your prayers um, that the Lord would deliver me from uh, addiction to pre prescription medication um, because that's the sin I'm, I'm battling with at the moment. I know, I know God has his hand in medicine, but he's convicting me today to I've got to do something about it. I've got to make, take some steps of faith. And, and rid myself of these things of this world. So I really appreciate your uh, prayers, dear family. So God bless you all. Be of good courage. He will strengthen your heart. Bye for now, guys.